A warm welcome to Anuradha Ved Astrology. Today we are going to talk about our rule, one of a very interesting topics from what people say Germany. But as Sir always points out, it is mentioned in all classical texts. But before we begin, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your comments and your suggestions there. If you haven't subscribed to us, please do. And do remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. A warm welcome to you, sir. Pranam, sir. <coughs> sir, um, I have come across people who say that when we, even when we follow all the concepts of Aru, then also we do not get the results. That's right. So, <laughs> so I am coming to you and asking you this question. That why and how is it possible? See, what happens is Arur is taken uh, as a standalone subject. As I always say, nothing is standalone. You know my views on even teachers. I said, nothing is standalone. Uh, as sun also needs those uh, seven planets to help him, rather the six planets to help him, and, and some to block the energy, same happens even in astrology. See, uh, behind me is the Arur. You know, you, you are looking at the sun and its reflection there. Yes. So, but you see that there are waves in that reflection which are not there in the sun, is it? Yes. yes. So, once we are, I, I, about that, I think I have said earlier also, I will explain in the webinar that you are going to make me do. So, <laughs> so, so, so the idea is, see, when we go to Jaimini Sutra or even when we go to Parashiri, we have to understand they are part of it. Jaimini focuses on certain issues. Now, what happens is we take sutras in isolation. You can't do that because not everything is told in sutra, not everything is told in the, uh, you know, chapter on, uh, which, which we call Adhyaya in Sanskrit, uh, in Parashin, nor in, uh, you know, Uttar Kalambu, nor with uh, Krishna Mishra, and uh, all those great savants. Is Arur standalone? Obviously, no, because it is a reflection of something. It is uh, nowadays people call it Satya and Maya and etc. etc. or whatever. It, it is also an indicator, one of the indicators. But when we go into the sutras or when we read our classics also, one has to understand there is a saying ki sutreshu adrushtam padam. If in sutras something is not mentioned. It is not seen, it is not found. Then what is to be done? Then they say, Sutra Antara Anuvartaniya Sarvatram. Which means then you find at other places if something is mentioned about it. Which means the texts are to be taken as a whole and not in isolation. So, like in Sutras, if we go the pure Jaimini ways that people think is different, it is nothing different. So the great Parashara also. He also mentions in the uh, you know, uh, the aphorisms. That, we know that if we apply Jaivini in its essence or as people think it is only about Rashi Dushti, even then you don't get anything. It's not so. There is another concept called as Ardala. And if we go to the <coughs> classics and read properly, I mean, everybody reads properly, but many a times we think that this is said at some other place. So, <clears throat> what Argala does, Argala is supposed to fix something. What does it fix? And will it fix and when it will not fix is always in the in the Argala chapter, what can always They have also to be taken into consideration when that influence, I always call aspect as influence on a bhava. So that Rashi Dufti influence is there. It is very specific. Like, uh, you know, Cardinal Rashi is asking the you know, fixed Rashi and, and the and vice versa and the dual Rashi is asking each other, but yes. not the one immediately adjacent to it, whether forward or backward, and that is it. But when you go into Argalas, you find that is not the case. Argalas operate in a different manner. So, for example, 
if say the ascendant is <coughs> you know the cardinal ascendant uh, chara rashi as well rashi sir say fourth house will also be chara rashi yes sir and the rashi in front of it which is the uh, 10th bhava will also be a chara rashi yes and yet this chara rashi from here argala is cast upon the 10th so this is a as in hindi we say kahani mein twist this is a twist in what is happening is which is generally overlooked overlooked and all these additional influences change the nature of what is already given as a yoga as we call it or or as a combination giving certain results so if something extremely bad is indicated and if there is benefic argala or if there is some benefic planet aspect in that power the entire complexion changes so when we take you know yoga as stand alone that is where we make a mistake and if we make that mistake then naturally the results will not end so oh, i mean uh, that's why you know uh, among the many tools i always call them tools is the grahadrushti uh, the planetary aspect the rashi aspect the argalas the karakamshas Uh, is it it and the pada and and the bhava pada and even the cheta pada which is uh, the pada or aru of planets that they are talked about and nothing is said but there is only one shloka which doesn't explain how to use it now as far as should apply their thoughts and find out what is being said at other places and that will be applicable here say if 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 somebody is saying that a planetary aspect of x planet does x y z whatever then you have to understand that a rule of that planet will also do the same thing again subject to whether some other planet is aspect which will modify the result which, which uh, comes even in vedas as you know the sarvato bhadra right, yes and Vedha, in transits we have veda and sarvato veda that baba veda are there yes so all these are different things do we need uh, to apply all I uh, beg to differ. I say, use as little as possible. Use your common sense also, and the results will come. So, if suppose like there is a the sutra says pravajja darana shok, if the second bhava or the upabada itself has malefics, then <clears throat> there will be destruction of spouse, or a person will become ascetic. Means he will not have spouse. So, it 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 is not necessary that spouse should be there. She should or he should die. It's not. He may be. I said, that's fine. But then there is an exception. They say, <coughs> uh, son is not to be considered as malefic here, isn't it? Hmm. So, and then what happens if there is a, a benefic aspect? There? Maybe there will be small tiffs. Nobody will die, or, or, or even I mean, death can also be equated to divorce because the marriage breaks. so nowadays uh, people are always confused why death is said and the spouse is not dying somebody might have that wishful think she will not die don't worry there can be a, <laughs> or he will not die so so there can be a divorce but then that is again a death of the bond which is called marriage isn't it so this is how we have to look at it so argalas are also very important and then okay benefic argalas are good what happens about benefic argalas There is something called as nirabhasa argala, cast from a particular bhava. So all these things, when we apply on what is the, as people want to call it as yoga or sutra or whatever uh, nomenclature you give it, the, the combination and position of planets, let us call them, then the results will come. And never go with the hyperbole. See, there will be he will be king of all the universe. Would be one of the, uh, you know, aphorism. Think about it. Maybe he is king of all the universe as far as known to him. So, if he is a doctor, he would be perhaps a great uh, authority in his field of work. That is where the the the, the question arises, and people like of my age they will smile, <laughs> which my say is very dangerous when you smile. But then, uh, uh, my meaning is, it's not to. Denigrating it, I say when we are go going into such a deep, uh, you know, uh, 
science. Subjects, yes. We must understand. Because there will be Mahamutri Jaya Mantra and a person who is dying will be, you know, resurrected. He will not die. So, see, and try to understand what they are saying. And that's why I say in, in, in Arura specifically, because it is almost equivalent to what is the original one, but not the original one. You have to be very cautious when you apply the principle. In certain uh, planet, uh, when, when there are no other uh, you know, influences on that, that house, you will find the results coming through. At certain other places, they might not come. So find out where have I gone. And that will hone your skill of using the arm. I mean, at least this is how I will look at it. And uh, So and we are going to study all of this in our upcoming course on our <laughs> Let us see. When God wills it, we will we'll find some other time. Uh, when I am in a movie, you know me, I am a movie person. Uh, but yeah, maybe sometimes we will look at Argala, we will look at Karakasha, because the, the problem is uh, the uh, Jaimini Sutras talk more in depth about certain aspects. All those are mentioned by Parashat. But certain aspects, uh, he has gone more in depth, that is why he said, Padesham Vakyasa. I am trying to define. I am trying to tell something more. And then he says, <coughs> Hora Siddha Daya or Siddha Daya Hora. So other things you can see from the great sages and savants of astrology. That means ki all other things are also to be applied here. When we start doing that, then if you read the commentary of Achyudha on Jaimini Sutra, you will find he also gives the Nakshatra Dashas being applicable in astrology. And he is not wrong. People many a times think that uh, they were great anyway, but even Parashat says, Uru Daya Siddha, the great have also already told about the Nakshatra Dashas. So I am giving only, I am focusing only on the uh, Rashi Dashas, as they call it, the Shadadasha and Shiva Daksha, etc. So that is what I saying. Look at it in a holistic manner and those flavors which are derived from Aruda or from the Argala or from <clears throat> you know you know somebody is absolutely uh, not only uncorrupt absolutely honest person and you will find that according to the Sutra <clears throat> he would be shown to be using unfair means to earn and you will be surprised look, whether some Argala is there of a benefic planet or some other planet which is benefic is aspecting it by Rashi Dhrushti or even Graha Dhrushti and then bring that, uh, uh, what can I say, intensity of that yoga down according to what is happening there. And uh, you will never repent why I have you know, studied uh, Aruda or Argala or Karakamshas. Uh, and that is why even the sage says, Lagnadva, Padadva, <coughs> Umshadva. He says, this can be seen from the ascendant, this can be seen from Pada, that is Arun. And that's why I always say it. these are reflections, uh, something more. Uh, or some, some uh, 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 what can I say, a different angle from which to view the same subject, uh, sort of, which is Arun. And uh, astrology should not be confused. Uh, instead of going those uh, snapshot uh, predictions, which is a specialty of my generation. <laughs> but uh, we take into consideration many things simultaneously because of years of being exposed to those things. Uh, nothing great about it. I mean, everybody can do it. And that's why I, I said this is the subject on which we should dwell at <laughs> length and people should not worry why this is not happening. It can happen in a different form. You know, the larger than life type of description which is given in the uh, <coughs> our shlukas have to be understood in the proper perspective. And Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll meet you all in our upcoming course on Aroda. Sure, I try my best to explain uh, to the best of my ability, which is not great anyway. Thank you, sir. Please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.